guys, okay, so I've got a, um, con uh, not a concealer, I have got a foundation to test out for you guys. This is the Revlon Age Defying 3X Foundation with Broad Spectrum SPF 20 in the shade 05 Fresh Ivory. I want to say this was the lightest shade. I think it was. Um, if not, there's only probably one shade lighter than this. Um, I like the packaging of this. I think it's nice, sleek. I actually really love this color of red, so not that that matters at all, but, uh, you know, <laughs> things always kind of suck you in at the drugstore when you're walking by, you know, based on their appearance. So, okay, let's go ahead and just get this pumped out. I haven't heard anybody talk about this at all. Oh, okay. Um, let me just cap this back up and shake it a little bit because it pumped out really thin. There, see how it's wanting to run a bit? I mean, not crazy thin. I've had thinner foundations, but it's pretty thin, more thin than I was expecting. So I don't think this would be a very good one for a sponge. So that's a good thing I don't have a sponge today at all. <laughs> all right, I'm still testing out this uh, brush. Um, it's the Moda Complexion Brush, and it comes in a kit. Um, I just tried it for concealer, and it worked really nice for that. So I'm going to go ahead and try it with this foundation again. There it is. The shade isn't crazy light, but it looks good. So I'm going to try it on this side because I've got some concealer on this eye already. Alright, so shade looks okay. I haven't heard anybody talk about this. Whoa, it stinks. Like, it smell. oh, it stinks, it stinks. <laughs> Alright, and it feels like it's wanting to set down pretty quick once you get it on your skin, so you're going to want to blend this quickly. I think that was a full pump that I pumped out. And just as a heads up, I forgot my mirror today, my close-up mirror, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, so I can't really take a close-up look. I have to look in my um, rear view mirror, so I'll be out of frame for a second. But Okay, and so just based on like what I'm seeing right now from my face to my mirror it's looking good um it doesn't look too matte it looks pretty natural let me see if i oh you know what i do have my mirror yay it was hiding from me okay okay hmm All right, first impression is it looks okay on my skin. But I can't, it does look a little bit heavy right here, not terribly, a um, little bit heavy right here. Looks good on my nose, it doesn't look like, um, well, it's a little tiny bit heavy. Um, I feel like if you have dry patches of any kind, um, this is gonna cling to it a little bit. Um, but it does set down, like I had some on my hand and it did kind of set down. So that's something to think about. Um, trying to see if it's one of those that when you first put it on it looks a little glowy but then after a while it kind of sets down and, and it's more of a more of a matte. So, mm. Alright, so as a first impression, um, this seems okay. Um, I don't think I like it as much as the Wet n Wild one, but again, I always give my foundations a full day's wear test. And um, let me just go ahead and even out the other side, just so that uh, all you OCD girls out there won't be like, finish it, you have to finish it. Um, and also we can kind of test my pores on this side that are, I feel like, a bit larger and a bit more open and tend to want to glob up with foundation. It almost feels kind of like a cross between a liquid and a powder and I usually don't like that in a foundation I just find that it just looks ends up looking kind of crusty on my skin 
But to be fair, I really take a really close up look and most people that are talking to you or that you're interacting with throughout the day are not gonna be taking that close up of a look. Okay, so it is sticking in my pores a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit, not, well, I mean more than I would like, so I'm gonna have to say this one is probably a pass for me. And it does look a little bit makeup-y. Um, it's catching on like all the fine hairs on my face and it is kind of catching right here. So uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'll give it its full, um, its fair shot and wear it for the rest of the day. And also it looks like it's kind of gunk gunking up of my concealer right here. Um, yeah, so that is not looking very good at all. Um, I, I feel like it's one of those foundations and I've talked about this in the past where you can almost see like the little pigment dots like dots of pigment all over your skin and I don't know if that's just the pigment not mixing well with the foundation base like that it's all mixed up with um, to become a liquid foundation or if that's just it not blending into your skin nicely like from my face to the mirror and even in the viewfinder it looks nice like it looks natural but it looks like it's got some coverage like um, it's so it's so deceiving <laughs> and it's so frustrating because I'm like looking at myself in the mirror here and I'm like oh that doesn't look bad at all and I'm looking in the viewfinder I'm like oh that doesn't look bad at all but then as soon as I get home or as soon as I look up close I'm like oh it just looks makeupy and uh, just crusty like it doesn't look like natural skin I mean everybody knows you're wearing makeup but it just doesn't look natural and looks just like you pasted like spackle on your face and I don't know anybody that's really gonna want to look like that so um, again I'll give it its fair shot and uh, wear it for the rest of the day see how that it works out um, thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe uh, I know I say this every time is please like and subscribe but every time you hit the like button it helps my channel and I'm really close to getting um, 100 subscribers I think I'm about like 86 or so so um, if you could hit that like button and subscribe share with your friends um, let your friends and family know uh, about my channel I would so appreciate it and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye